arrived, I was approached by the steward of the house named Malvolio. He tried to get me to leave, but I refused until I saw Olivia. As I predicted, Olivia was none too impressed with Orsino's speech. But I was able to get her to listen because I praised her beauty and her virtues and, you know, flattery helps. She suddenly seemed interested in me. And she was asking a lot of questions and I revealed that I was of noble birth, which was not a lie because I am of noble birth. Or the female version of me is. <sighs> Olivia told me that she didn't love Orsino and that she never would, which I had already told him, but no, he just couldn't listen to me. And then she got kind of nervous. And she was like, come back and tell me how Arsino takes my rejection. And I was like, okay. So then off I was to tell Arsino what I had already told him. But then Malvolio came up to me and was yelling at me about giving some ring to Olivia. And I realized that she had probably told him that, so I just played along. Now I know many of you know the famous ring speech. But... I would like to correct a few things. While I did feel bad that Olivia's love was hopeless because I wasn't who I said I was and I was in love with Orsino, I never uttered the words that women are weak. While I know many men that have manipulated and tricked women, that is never the fault of the woman, but rather the fault of the man. I felt guilty because I had become that deceptive man towards Olivia. I hoped that time would untangle this love mess because I had no idea how to solve it.